I think Boyer found something that last lap. He he really went wide in in both ends of the racetrack, and he found a little clean air and found a little extra uh, advantage on the X. And here he tries it again. I think he it's not long. He's going to get side by side. Can he pass him though? Yeah. Well, the hunter has found the hunted now, and uh, <laughs> and and Boyer. I love what he's been doing, Mike. He tried to highline, didn't? Maybe he gained a little there. Now he's right on the bottom, and he's really gaining there. And I think that's going to be the. I thought he might be able to swing by on the outside, but I believe he's going to get that nose under the 19, maybe squeeze him up the hill. Might need to use the bumper here, too, on him. Both these drivers are hungry for a win. By this time last season, both Truex and Boyer had been to victory lane, along with Austin Dillon and Kevin Harvick three times. Vince. Clayton Hughes, the spotter for Truex and Cole Pern, and now you see the. Boyer taking a look inside. They had told Truex, don't let him pass you on the outside, but Boyer is just a little bit stronger taking a look on the inside. They want to protect the outside of the 19 car. We'll see if Boyer's strong enough to get it done inside. So hard to get that drive off from the inside. Truex motors away. Racing yeah. him nice and clean right now, not forcing the issue. But, buddy, we're running out of laps. We've only got 21 to go, 20 this time by. And then, look, I, I think the guy that slipped into the picture, and I think he's loving every minute of this, is that 22 car of Joey Logano. He's going to be in the hunt here before long. Here's some Martin Truex audio. He's looking there. Protect, protect. There you go, bud. Quit driving him up here, Clayton. I ain't going to wreck all right, Jim, he's on your damn bumper. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him, Clayton. <laughs> so you're the spotter. Tell him. These guys have worked together a long time. Yeah. They know one another very well and know that they can get away with that, you know, kind of talk back and forth. And, and, and you know, that's just Truex saying, listen, man, I got it. I got it. <laughs> no, that's Truex saying, leave me alone. Don't talk to me. I got to focus right now. And I don't need somebody in my ear. Yeah, but the game has changed. Joey Logano is now within one second of the two leaders. The, the three cars are pretty equally matched. I know Logano has chased them down, but that's because they 19 to 14 are racing each other. I don't know that one can pass the others. We saw Martin Truex in the Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte win by leading all but just a handful of laps. That was a great performance, but I think he is driving the race of his career right here, right now. He wants to get rid of that goose egg, and he's showing that he's got the heart to do it. Eight to go. Well, he's going to have to drive eight flawless laps through traffic right here with Clint Boyer and Joey Logano right on his rear bumper if he's going to win this race. So if he gets it done, he earned it for sure. Boy, here's, here's Boyer right back on his back bumper again. And Boyer can get there. I, he just hadn't been able to figure out a way around. You can see the 19 of Mark Truex. He just has to slow that car down so much in the center of the corner. That's where these guys close in on him. Here they are, nose to tail, the top three coming around with six to go. Now you can see Boyer sort of having to protect that outside line because of Joey Logano, but it's also given Boyer a nice run off the corner. Hey, and another guy that's creeped into the picture, Kevin Harvick, is right here behind the 22 car. So we've got a four way battle for the win. Stenhouse ahead, five to go. Five, five more. We could have four cars under a blanket at the checkered flag. All clear, all clear. Don't rush the throttle, serious. Run coming. Well, Logano looked high. really strong. Don't rush the throttle down here, man. Be smart. Play by quarter, looking high. Oh, he's going to get to the outside looking of Boyer. High. He's got looking Boyer. High. He's got him. Outside. That outside, outside move outside really him. paid off. I think he's I really think Joey's going to clear the 14 here off of turn two. But can he get to the 19 in four laps or three and a half now? Whoa, man, that was close racing off turn two. 14, let him go. One back, one back the lane higher. Still one a lane higher. No run. He's trying to turn down. Remember Logano, Truex at Martinsville. Oh, man, I hadn't even thought about that. <laughs> I, thought I about think that. you better. Oh, holy cow. 
And Joey Logano said on radio this week, I race people the way they race me. And if I move somebody for a win, I've got to expect to get moved for a win and man up. I think Mark Trex Jr. knows what to expect this time. <laughs> right there, he just rolls the top in three and four. Two to go. Man, this is going to come down this final lap. Oh, boy. Woo. This is going to be exciting. Logano up high. Diamonds the corner to get a launch and closes a little bit more. I know if I'm Truex, I wouldn't want him to get to my bumper. <laughs> well, he's there. He's on his bumper. He's there. The white flag waves. One lap to go from Credit One Bank. Man, what do you do if you're Truex? You want to. Hook that yellow line, but the 22 is getting a big run off the top. It's all going to oh, come. Oh, he's going to get there. It's going to oh, come don't, down. Don't give him the outside. It's going to come down to it right here. Oh, the Truex. Martin Truex up. makes that car wide. Short track win number one for Martin Truex and Joe Gibbs Toyota. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Martin Trace got that race over, and so am I. <laughs> well, he's going to be. He's, he's certainly going to be proud of how he had to earn that he first did. short track he drove, win. He drove his tail off.